Bottom is falling out in Russia with plunging demand for Russian oil. The ruble has been falling today, has been crashing all day long. Beth Noble is a Fordham professor and former CBS News Moscow bureau chief. Beth, you're hearing of panic buying of hard currency there? Well, the panic buying uh, seems to be ending because there's no hard currency left to buy. Uh, I was watching Russian TV, and in the background, over the correspondent's shoulder, I saw the sign of, a, of an exchange office. Now, this was in Kaliningrad, uh, not in Moscow, but this place was selling dollars for 100 rubles to the dollar and euros at 120 rubles. Just to put that in perspective, just a couple of days ago, it was 50 rubles to the dollar, and the last time I was in Moscow... In August, it was 32 rubles to the dollar. Wow. And making things worse, Beth, we're hearing that the White House is looking at even more sanctions on Russia over Ukraine. Is Putin in political trouble? Well, I'd say yes and no. I mean, his popularity has been very high ever since he, he took over Crimea last uh, earlier this year. His public opinion ratings have been up in the 80 percent range. And I can't see that they're not going to come down because this is really starting to hurt Russians in their pocketbooks because they can't hold their savings in rubles anymore. It's just going to deflate if they ever want to buy any foreign goods or they ever want to go abroad. They're not going to be able to do it the way things are going. The only thing that's saving Putin, I think, is that there's just nobody else on the political landscape but him. He's done such a good job of making sure that the opposition goes nowhere by doing things like blocking them from national TV that there's really nobody else to go to except him. Beth Noble at Fordham University, former CBS News Moscow bureau chief. Thank you, Beth. Thank you.